When there's a zombie on your lawn, when there's a zombie on your lawn, what do you do? No, you don't go for a weapon like a gun or a knife to kill it, no. You go for something a lot more weirder. Plants! Hey guys, today I'll be reviewing Plants vs. Zombies for Xbox 360 and all other platforms uh, for you today. Uh, this game puts a lot of bad images for preparing for the apocalypse for kids 10 or up or whatever if they believe in this. No, it's a cartoon. Don't believe in it. Please don't. If there's an apocalypse, go for a weapon or something to protect yourself. Plants will do nothing but just sit there. But on the other side of this, this game is actually pretty fun. Besides not being educational, I like all the varieties of plants you get to use to fight the zombies. It's a really good... For those of you... Let me just explain this for a second before I get into all that depth. This is a tower defense game where you build, like, armies and that kind of stuff to fight waves or armies that attack you so like you can put it in certain sections and that kind of stuff it's like balloon tower defense for those of you who have heard of that but instead of monkeys versus balloons you get plants versus well zombies so it's a really great game has lots of cartoon stuff i think the second one is better even though it's only for uh <clears throat> Uh, like mobile devices sorry but it is really fun you get to start out with something that's pretty interesting called a pea shooter which is just basically a plant that shoots peas and a sunflower which produces sun and walnut which protects you which is pretty fun it's a pretty fun game. I like the tower defense idea. I like it. It's just original. It's something really creative. It's kind of an old game. And it's pretty cheap nowadays since it's an, a sort of an old game. It's like, I want to say 2007, 2008. I'm not sure. <clears throat> yeah, I would say about 2008. But I'm not sure if that's correct or not. But uh, let's go into the other smaller details. This game is now available for twenty dollars, cheaper than it was, and it and my grandparents got me for this. And it also came with two other games called Zuma, which is sort of like this old weird fashion ball game where you shoot balls with balls. Don't be inappropriate with that, guys. That's not that funny. It's just like where you shoot like. Spherical balls, don't be inappropriate, at Spherical Balls. And also another game called Peggle, which I've never really heard of and I don't play. But the main game I like to play with this collection is Plants vs. Zombies. But it's a pretty, e pretty easy game. It's for, it's E, it's, I would say it's a, uh, I don't even see why it's E, 10 up like that game rating where it has E for everyone but this says E for everyone and 10 up no this game I would say is for anyone pretty much because it's just there's no violence in it the only thing that parents might want to be worried about is well the fact that you're fighting zombies and that kind of stuff but there's no blood or anything in it it's just cartoon zombies dying nothing to it nothing scary it's just a fun game, and plus you get a lot of cool plants in it. Like, you get a bunch of really cool mushrooms to help you, and sometimes they don't even fight. They just help, are there to help you, like, let's see here, the sunflower. It's probably the most popular one in this game. It is the most popular one in this game, because it had a YouTube video about, there's a zombie on your lawn, like how I started this out. And it produces sun for you, which you can buy plants with. And there's also the walnut, which protects you. But other than that, I'm, there's nothing else to this game. It's the tower defense. It's $20. It's available pretty much anywhere. I would go to GameStop or someplace like that, because you can find it more of a chance there. But you can probably find it in, this, in an old game section where they have old games at Walmart. Like, that's probably where my grandparents found it for me. But, uh, yeah. It's a great game. I definitely recommend it, and I hope you guys like this review. If you do, please leave a like, 
and I do have some more videos for you, but the next few are not review related. So, hope you guys have a great day, and see you later. Peace out.